Hello YouTube, today we will be evaluating the Gaussian integral. So the Gaussian integral is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared power dx. And at first glance, this seems impossible because there's no antiderivative of this that we can take because you can't integrate this. There's no elementary function that you can have to find the antiderivative of this. So what are we supposed to do? Well, there's actually a method of converting this into polar coordinates and it becomes quite solvable that way. So let's go. First of all, let's square both sides. So now we're left with i squared equals the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared dx times integral from in negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared dx. But it doesn't really matter what the variable is. So we can rewrite this as the integral from negative infinity of to infinity of e to the negative x squared dx times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative y squared power dy, since variables don't matter. So now we can just multiply these two together. So now we have in a, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the integral from negative infinity to infinity of these two multiply e to the negative x squared plus y squared power dx dy. Okay, so now that we have something that looks like this, we can convert this into polar coordinates. So we have from zero to two pi or theta as our outer integral and r equals infinity and r equals zero as our inner integral. Then we'll have e to the negative r squared power times r dr d theta because remember if you turn something into from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates you have to multiply by r so now we have something that looks like this we have theta equals 2 pi theta equals 0 of d theta since separating this integral here from the rest won't really affect what the, the ultimate outcome is since you separate you integrate these separately anyways. You multiply this with this part of the integral. So we have r e to the negative r squared power dr from zero to infinity. So now we have two pi minus zero if you evaluate this integral then now we can integrate this so now we have negative one half e to the negative r squared power from zero to infinity i know common calculus conventions would require you to put v v here and then set the limit as v approaches infinity, but I don't really care. It's simpler this way. So now that we have two pi times negative one half e to the negative infinity squared, which is just zero plus one half e to the negative zero squared power, which is just but we're not done since this is equal to i squared that means that i squared is equal to pi therefore i ends up being square root of pi and therefore 
e to the negative x squared integral from negative infinity to infinity equals square root of pi. Thank you for watching.